Guys, welcome to another exciting episode here in the workshop. We're going to be doing something pretty cool. We've got the electric cycle cart here. If you guys haven't been following on the build with this, go ahead and go back a few videos. You can see what we did. We converted a gas cycle cart into electric using a stock Suron motor, 5 kilowatt Suron, Suron motor that we took out of that Suron, which is now the world's fastest Suron. So, in true HP Logic form, we're going to be upgrading this again because this was really a proof of concept. We know this setup works, but a stock motor, come on, you know, we got to do better than that. And luckily, we've got some great friends over at Darwin EV who have helped us step our game up. They have everything you need to do this sort of stuff. You've got an, if you've got a Suron, an electric motorcycle, electric bike, electric anything, electric cycle car, full-size car, whatever it is you're doing, consider a Darwin EV. These guys have all the components you need to make a really fast, fun toy like this. Uh, uh, and, and I'm really excited to, to upgrade this. So in this box, we got an upgraded motor. We're going to throw that sucker on here, but let's get it out of the box first and take a look at it and see exactly what we're working with. And voila, out of the box, here it is. Soshin motor to upgrade our cycle cart. This is a significant upgrade over the stock motor, as you might have already surmised. So uh, we're gonna be up in the game. Let's see, we'll see what this really can do. A Couple of key things to note here that are different. Um, the phase wires are on the side with the pulley. That could become an issue for us mounting-wise. So I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, take that off, take the stock motor out, and see how this lays in there and see if we need to come up with some sort of a different mounting scheme or whatever it is we need to do. But... Uh, it should be pretty straightforward. I think that those phase wires will just kind of uh, be tucked away in there. The worst, the worst that we might have to do is kind of come up with a different way to mount the chain tensioner. Might have to flip it to the other side so it's on the outside or something, something of that nature. Well, first major problem. Not only do the phase wires sit right where the tensioner is, but they're actually out, the, the spout for them is actually out further than the mounting point, which means this motor won't fit flush with this mounting plate. So I'm gonna have to modify the mounting plate to accommodate for that extra. I'll have to cut it and make a, a step in the mounting. All right, so I notched the bracket, as you can see, to allow for the phase uh, spigot to fit, which it does. We've bolted everything back on now. And this motor's a little bit wider than the factory one, so it's, a, it's gonna be a heavier duty motor all around. Bigger rotor, SPM as well, so we can really rev it. So it should be a good top end choice. We'll see how it does. It hooks into the factory uh, hall sensor wiring right there. So we'll just program this now in the kilowatt app and get this thing moving, see how it drives. All right, it's the next day. Got the charger out. We're gonna put a full charge on this bad boy. In the meantime, I've also upgraded the phase wires. So the old eight gauge phase wires were just way too small. We've gone to these four gauge bad boys to match the uh, phase wires that are on the new motor. So this should allow us to put down all the power we can and uh, that's pretty much it. I think we're ready to go try another speed pass and see what this thing can do with this awesome upgrade from Darwin EV. So let me get this sucker charged up. We'll take it out to the spot. Time to see. Let's let her eat. All right. So we're out here in the electric cycle cart. We got our Speedo hooked up. <clears throat> Made our draggy GPS too to back it up. We're going to go ahead and see if we can make a run, see what happens. Let's see 
zero. Power on. Let's see how we go. power turned up field weakening up let's see what that gets us here I'm gonna make another pull here we go zero and we're off accelerate kind of slow and here we go All right, so I'm looking at some of the uh, data, and uh, I think we've got some room to grow. This battery is sagging. This is an old battery. Sagging from 84 volts down to about 69 volts under load. So I'm going to go grab another battery that I have at the house that's fresher. That's going to probably give us an extra 5 or 6 volts at peak. That should help us out quite a bit. And we'll try again. That speed turned out to be around 78 miles per hour. So we're getting there. A couple more tweaks, baby. Let's go do it. All right, so we're back now. We're gonna put the new, well, the, the newest battery we've got from next back in now. Same voltage, 72 volt battery, but just a little bit stronger. And it was what we need. We need to keep up that. This is a heavier uh, vehicle than the Suron and you know, we gotta have good power. That kind of voltage sag is gonna lead me to believe that we've got a lot more performance on the table. So let's pop the big boy in, well, the biggest boy we got, and, uh, and charge it up. We'll go back out, try it again. Okay, so I got back and I started looking at the data because it didn't really make too much sense to me that I only picked up like one mile an hour with that fresh battery. Uh, I looked at the data and I noticed that it was actually pulling away power as soon as we got to 79 miles an hour. Uh, so I started looking around and there was some sort of RPM limit. So it was stopping the RPM at like 7,900 RPM, 7,800 RPM. So I lifted that limit up and now it'll smoke to 10,000 plus. Uh, I just tested it on the jack stand. So that was probably why we weren't going much faster. I'm gonna go ahead and obviously recharge this battery and uh, we're racing the sun. So not sure if I'm gonna be able to get in there one more time today, but maybe we'll do it tomorrow. But that's promising. Uh, I, I was curious why it was why it was kind of dying off. It felt like it was dying off right at that RPM, but very encouraging to know that we hit 79 miles an hour um, with it regulating. So we're gonna go ahead, charge it up one more time with the limit lifted now. We'll try it again. Let's hope we can really rock that big mile an hour now. We should be able to, we have, we have enough RPM to go 100 miles an hour here, guys. So the question is, can we put that much power down? Uh, We'll see. We're testing the limits of this setup. That was showing around 15 kilowatts of used power uh, during those runs. So, you know, if we can we can use the full, let's say, 20 plus kilowatt potential of this thing, I really do think we can get close to that 100 mile an hour range. So let's go ahead, charge it up, see if we can run it again. Okay, let's test this. Zero. Here we go.
four miles per hour in one direction. So now let's go back the other way. It's 84. Very nice. She's got more in it. That's a good start though, 84. And we'll stop again. Dead stop. There we go. Okay, here we go. Another run. Slow ramp up. Take a look at the time, see how long it took to get there, but I'm pretty sure it was within that 30 second range. How about that, huh? 84 and 82 in the other direction, so 83 average. That's a new record, guys. That is a brand new record. Super excited about that. It worked. A little zero to 60 run, just to see what she does. So reset this. We should be able to do a zero to 60. Here we go. Power up. All right. Point one, so 8.1 with the one foot rollout. That's the uh, that's what we ran 8.1 seconds zero to 60. It's not too bad. This thing doesn't move too slowly. Pretty happy with that. All right, guys, so there it is. We did it. We set the record, the world record 83 mile an hour average in both directions and 84 mile an hour top speed we saw on those runs. Super pumped about that. Huge, huge shout out to Darwin EV for providing the, the goods to do it. We've got the next bat battery on board as well as the uh, Socian motor on this one right now. So huge shout out, Darwin EV. Can't do it without them. Cannot do it without them. That's the truth. And uh, it really, really matters to have good equipment in order to, to break these records and go as fast as we're going. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this content. There's more in it. Actually, this is not the maximum setup yet. Uh, I wanted to test the, the, the setup that's on it as it is, just to see what the differences were. And we saw a massive difference. That's what we were looking for. Um, this is around a 20 kilowatt setup right now. It's limited. I have it limited at 20 kilowatts. So we can go further. We can go up to 30 kilowatts if we want to and, uh, and keep on pushing. But we don't have to do that yet because we're the fastest and the fastest wait a little bit just give me wait a little bit see if anyone else wants to tag me so uh anyway hope you guys are enjoying this we've got more in the tank ultimately i'm gonna go 100 miles an hour in this thing that's the goal you guys know i don't stop uh so if i have to wait too long it's gonna happen anyway either way i'll see you guys in the next one it's gonna be good